Extremely high levels of radiation were detected at the number one reactor of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The highest level recorded was 10,300 millisieverts per hour. What the fuck? Tokyo Electric Power Company said it used endoscopes and dosimeters to examine the interior of the reactor for the first time since the accident in March last year. A record level of 10,300 millisieverts per hour was measured in the reactor's suppression chamber, 0.2 meters above the surface of contaminated water. This level of radiation would be fatal for humans. This level of radiation would be fatal for humans. 1,000 millisieverts per hour was, de was detected 4 meters above the water surface, raising concerns about future decommissioning work. 1,000 millisieverts per hour was, de was detected 4 meters above the water surface, raising concerns about future decommissioning work. What the fuck? TEPCO official Junichi Matsumoto said the higher radiation level in the number one reactor may be the result of more fuel rods melting as compared to other reactors. He said robots will be used for damage assessment to avert the risk for humans. Tokyo Electric Power Company has lost billions of dollars since Japan's disaster disabled one of its nuclear plants, Fukushima Daiichi. It needs more money to stay afloat, lots more. So TEPCO shareholders have approved a plan to accept a government bailout. Now the state owns more than three quarters of the utility's voting rights. Shareholders gathered in Tokyo for their annual meeting. TEPCO is still dealing with a costly cleanup and compensation payments related to the 2011 nuclear accident. First, we, the entire board of directors, want to deeply apologize for the trouble and worries caused by last year's accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Executives outlined TEPCO's finances. They explained why the utility needs more than $12 billion in public funds to help turn things around. Shareholders then approved the resignation of the current chair and president. The executives quit to take responsibility for the management of the company and the Fukushima accident. Their replacements have already taken over. Shareholders also agreed to fill the majority of director positions with people from outside the camp company. TEPCO is now ready to implement a restructuring scheme. The government, as its main shareholder, will be able to influence how the company rebuilds itself and compensates people affected by the accident. And for more on the shareholders meeting, we turn to NHK World's Chie Yamagishi. So Chie, tell us what the mood was like uh, at the stockholders meeting and what opinions did shareholders put forward? The meeting brought together more than 4,000 shareholders, the second highest following the last year's gathering. They fired questions at questions at the typical executives mm -hmm. for five and a half hour half hours. Shareholders questioned Stepco's plan to restart nuclear reactors in the ser in its service areas. It is one of the major points of the utilities reconstruction plan. Typical sets reactivating its reactors is necessary if fuel costs for thermal power plants are squeezing its business. Mm -hmm. The company wants to restart them as early as next fiscal year. NHK interviewed TEPCO's new president, Naomi Hirose, about this issue. After verifying the causes of the Fukushima Daiichi accident, we would like to consider a restart of the nuclear plants. Some shareholders voiced their opposition. TEPCO officials do not have the right or the ability to operate nuclear plants. Moreover, the accident at Fukushima Daiichi has not ended. Investigations into it are not over. I want TEPCO officials to think of ways to keep a stable supply of electricity while securing safety. After the Fukushima accident, public concerns about the nuclear safety are increasing. Whether TEPCO can get approval from local residents and people across the country is unclear. Mm -hmm.
we just been explaining that the government is now the majority shareholder of TEPCO. Uh, the company is set to implement a new business plan under a new management team. But can the firm really rebuild itself? TEPCO has a massive amount of debts. Its group net loss for the last business year stood at about $6.2 billion. Mm -hmm. The firm hopes to reduce the de deficit mainly by increasing electricity charges this fiscal year. This April, TEPCO raised power rates for its corporate clients by an average of 17%. It is now waiting for the government to approve its plan to increase rates for households as well by an average of over 10%. However, TEPCO faced protests about the rate hikes at public meet hearings. Mm -hmm. Participants said the firm is not doing enough to cut labor and other costs. Similar objections were heard from shareholders today. As strong opposition from consumers continues, it is not clear how much or when TEPCO will increase its charges. Today, shareholders approved the company's new management, but we don't know if they can implement a new business plan. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for that. People opposed to nuclear power have demonstrated across Japan and elsewhere ever since the accident in Fukushima. Some of them gathered outside the meeting. They want shareholders to join their movement to stop the use of nuclear power. NHK World's Chair Yamagishi has more. People came here joined by a common belief that nuclear power is dangerous. Some came from as far as Germany to share that message. They are responsible for a catastrophe which harms the whole world and which brings the blue planet to a black planet. TEPCO officials do not have the right or the ability to operate nuclear plants. Moreover, the accident at Fukushima Daiichi has not ended. Investigations into it are not over. People here say it's time for TEPCO officials to take responsibility for what happened at Fukushima Daiichi. TEPCO shareholders passed the protesters on their way into the meeting. Some suggested company leaders need to rethink their business model. I want TEPCO officials to think of ways to keep a stable supply of electricity while securing safety. Other shareholders say nuclear power is a necessary part of the energy mix in Japan. We need nuclear energy because we don't have enough electricity in Japan. We also need it for the Japanese economy. Company officials are already planning to restart several reactors as early as next year along the Sea of Japan coast. But they say first, they'll have to win over the public. Chie Yamagishi, NHK World, Tokyo. Members of a shadowy international group found their way into places they should not have been. The hackers, known collectively as Anonymous, say they attacked several Japanese government websites. Officials at the finance ministry were working away when they detected an intruder. Ministry officials say they shut down part of their site after the hackers tampered with the content. The altered page included a photo of an overseas protest rally, a message opposing the restart of a nuclear plant in Japan, and another statement by the group. The hackers also got into the website of the Supreme Court. Users had difficulty accessing it for more than an hour. The hackers altered pages of the land ministry too. Anonymous claimed responsibility for both of those cases. Users had difficulty accessing the websites of the governing Democratic Party and the opposition Liberal Democratic Party. Anonymous released a statement on Monday protesting Japan's new copyright protection law and threatened to attack government websites.
Kato, what's the problem? Hello, Betty. What's the problem? I haven't got a problem. I've got fucking problems. Plural. Wanna hear? <laughs>